guys Deepak here so in this video we are going to join a Windows 10 client in a domain controller in Windows Server 2016 so in order to do that first of all I should have a local computer username and password that user should be part of local administrators group so I have that user if you want to create a local user account choose manage users and this is a group so in that user should be a part of administrator group in local computer so first thing you right click on this PC choose properties so I have computer name India PC one win 10 so before going to join this machine into domain I need to check some connectivity so in order to that do that I need to open a command prompt first I need to ping my domain controller for with the IP address so in my case I have a domain controller IP 10.10.10.10 so click enter yes I'm getting reply from my dear uh, domain controller so now I'm going to ping fully qualified domain name so my domain name is a sumbria.com so yes I'm getting IP address a uh, reply from my dear domain controller so yes now I can join this PC into my domain controller if you are not getting reply from your server with fully qualified domain name do one thing just put your domain controller IP address in your client uh, IP address uh, in a DSC, uh, DNS entry so now we are going to join this PC into domain so change again click on change type your domain name so here I have domain so click OK so now here you need to enter the account with permission or to domain uh, join the domain so that account should have permission to join client machine into the domain so yes I have the user that is the administrator so I need to enter the password click OK so here you can get the welcome message welcome to the sumbria.domain click OK so you need to restart your computer it's a mandatory click OK close and restart now so system is booting so meanwhile we can check in our active directory what's going there so open active directory choose activity user and computers so from here you need to click on computers so you can see I have joined this computer into my domain so here is the default setting for the this is the computer name workstation if you want you can modify much setting as per your requirement so yes this computer is now part of the domain controller no so I that's it thanks for watching this video